Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be comparing the pros and cons of using TVs or projectors in a home theater setup. If that sounds like something you'd be interested in, then stick around and we'll get into it right after the intro. So to start off with, this is a very subjective topic. Everybody has their own personal opinions on TVs and projectors, but today, hopefully, we can clear up some of the confusion to help you decide for yourself whether a TV or projector would work best for you. The first thing you need to determine is how big of a screen will fit in your room. This will determine whether or not you can even go with a projector and a screen combo, or at least if it's worth your while. If you want a screen that's bigger than about 90 inches, then at this time your only choice would be to go with a projector. But if you're okay with a smaller screen of say 86 inches, or you just can't fit a bigger display in your room, you might want to go with a large TV instead. Something else to consider is ambient light in your room. If your theater has a lot of windows and white walls, these will bring and reflect a lot of light from outside and severely degrade the image quality from a projector, while a TV won't have any of these issues. To get good picture quality from a projector, you'll have to make sure you have dark, flat painted walls and thick blackout curtains to block any light from coming into the space, which might lower your theater's wife approval factor, so keep that in mind. Another thing to consider is how far away you can put your projector from your screen. Every projector has its own throw distance, which is how far away you need to keep your projector from your screen to get the right size image. If your room isn't deep enough to use a projector, then chances are you'll have to get a TV instead. This isn't always true though. If you want a large format screen, but you don't have the right space for a projector, you can always get an ultra short throw projector as well. These types of projectors sit right in front of the projector screen and cast an image vertically rather than horizontally across the room. As a bonus, these screens work with special ceiling light rejecting screens, so you won't have to worry about stray light in your space degrading your image quality as much as a regular projector and screen combo. Another advantage of a TV is it's much easier to install. All you really have to do is set it on an entertainment center, or install a universal wall mount and you're done. While a projector will require proper measurement and calculations to make sure you get the best image possible. A plus for projectors on the other hand is if you have a really large room and your seating is far away from the screen you can compensate by getting a bigger screen. With TVs the upper limit right now is about 86 inches so you'd have to sit closer to get the same experience. Another difference between TVs and projectors is picture quality and the price that comes along with it. While there are a wide range of both TV and projector models to choose from, all at considerably different price points, you might have to pay more for a projector and screen combo that looks as good as a TV with similar picture quality. On the other hand, you're not going to be limited by the size of the display itself so you get more flexibility. HDR content is another big factor. Most 4K movies now come with HDR, and unless your 4K Blu-ray player supports HDR to SDR conversion, you'll need a display that supports HDR. This can be a problem for projectors, as HDR requires a lot of light output to produce a clean, bright image with lots of color. Projectors that do HDR really well can cost much more than a TV with similar HDR capabilities. Contrast is another area where TVs generally perform better than projectors, and this is mainly due to the screen material used for a projector screen. White screens will generally give you a brighter image, but they struggle a bit to achieve really deep blacks, while a gray colored screen gives you much better blacks and less brightness with the same projector. If you want to learn more about different types of projector screens, we made a video about choosing the best projector screen for your theater. If you want to check that out, we'll leave a link down in the description below. Another thing we should mention is color accuracy and color contrast, which are usually better on TVs than they are on projectors. Projectors have been getting a lot better with the introduction of LED and laser light engines, but those technologies do cost a lot of money as well. One area where projectors do excel though is choice. While it's difficult to find large format TVs that aren't 4K, for example, with a whole host of features that you might not be interested in, 
There are plenty of different options when it comes to projectors if you're looking to build your home theater with inexpensive components. Now personally, we don't recommend choosing a really cheap projector as you simply won't be happy with the picture quality. But a good 1080p projector can still deliver a fantastic image quality as long as you get a good one. In our main theater, we're using the Panasonic AE4000 1080p projector and we're very happy with the picture quality. And of course, when the right deal comes along, we'll be upgrading to a 4K unit. But this projector has been serving us well for the last 11 years. Another thing to consider is how you'll be getting your movies onto your TV or projector. With a smart TV, you already have a streaming device built straight into the TV. But if you decide to buy a projector, you'll need to go to a separate Blu-ray player or streaming device like a Roku, Nvidia Shield, or Apple TV. With all of that out of the way, now all you have to do is decide whether to go with a TV or a projector in your home theater setup. Hopefully this video is giving you some good info that will help you make a well-informed decision. But don't click away yet. Choosing a certain model of TV or projector can still be very confusing. For that reason, we'll be coming out with a couple of in-depth buyer's guides for both home theater TVs and projectors. So if you're interested in seeing that, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss out. In the end, our opinion is that you should get whatever suits your needs and budget. Ever since we got our 85-inch Sony, which replaced a 70-inch Vizio TV, we've been watching more and more movies in our living room. Even though we have a 120-inch projector screen in our main theater, we've really enjoyed the image quality of the new TV. But when we want that totally immersive movie watching experience, we always default to the projector and bigger screen. So in the end, I guess we've pretty much gone down both paths when it comes to TVs versus projectors, and we feel that both are a great option for watching movies. It pretty much all comes down to your own individual situation and preferences. And with that, it's time to wrap up this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and please let us know if you have any questions or comments down below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell so you don't miss any of our future content. And as always, have an awesome day.